Stories. Jade. Welcome to Jade Stories. Jade Stories. Jade Stories. Your number one headquarters for the Jade Stories in the universe. And your number one headquarters for the Jade Stories you will ever hear. Stuff that'll make you say, Jade, they're making me blow next year. That's my guitar. Why? That's what I think. Some stories are true, some are fake But the one thing we can promise Is that all these stories are Disclaimer This was made for entertainment purpose only It doesn't mean to hurt anyone And don't take it seriously To go MySpace Skimmy in the world of digital media, we have many historic giants that have come and gone. But today is a new day, and today we begin to celebrate the brand new giants that have risen from the ashes. Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram, TikTok. These modern day titans are nothing to be played with, because they can shake the earth to its very core. We have seen it happen many times, and right now, we are living in the time of the Great Challenge. A challenge that tests the might of any gladiator fearless enough to even accept this noble challenge. It is a quest, born from the heart, where one has to do the impossible and make it from one crate to another. Many challenges have come, and many have failed miserably. But that does not stop the great gladiators of planet Earth from embarking on this great challenge. Nameless warriors, whose faces have met the dust, have done their part in paving the way for the balance benders. Many people wonder, what are the origins of the Great Challenge? Well, according to the scriptures that we have access to, the Great Challenge was born in a visionary mind in the times of old. Times when famous singer Adele was talking about rolling in the deep. Times when the letters L-M-F-A-O was the name of a highly successful music duo. Times when Barack Hussein Obama was serving his first presidential term. These were the times when Rihanna talked about finding love in a hopeless place. And in that very hopeless place came the Great Challenge. A YouTube channel known as Joyriders TV was the first to show us the visionary mind that came up with the Great Challenge. It was the year 2011 when we first witnessed a man arranging milk crates in a similar fashion to the pyramids of Giza in which he exercised the ultimate test of chi. Shaolin monks spoke about the energy that resides within, an energy that is immeasurable, an energy that is like a fingerprint for the human soul. This is an energy that can be harnessed by the act of meditation and knowing oneself. And here we were, the year 2011, somewhere in the Western world, a young prodigy of sorts was harnessing this very energy. Hey, yo, bro, man, I got a perfect idea, man. You see them milk crates over there? You see them milk crates over there? Yeah, let's get them milk crates over there, bring them over here, and, and watch me do my magic, man. Hey, yo, hey, yo, hey, yo, pass me the other one. Yeah, I'm stacking them up, man. You ever heard of the Pyramids of Giza, bro? Hey, man, you don't know nothing about this Cleopatra, man, tooting common and all that. You know what I'm saying? I don't know nothing about that, bro. I know you don't know, bro. But listen here, bro. Bro, this about to get real, man. It's about to get brazy. See, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one first. You feel me? Then I'm going to put two second. You feel me? Then I'm put three. Then I'm going to put four. Then I'm going to put five. Then I'm going to put four again. Then I'm going to put three. Then I'm going to put two. Then I'm going to put one. Again, I'm going to do the unbelievable, bro. What you going to do? I'm going to walk past all these 
my team. Yeah. <laughs> it's about to get real. Hey yo, hey yo, let me get the camera. Hey man, get the camera, man. They gotta document this. You know what I'm saying? I'm going down in history, bro. Man, you want crazy mother? Man. And you know this, man. We finna be legends, bro. A few moments later. What many people saw as ordinary milk crates, he saw a journey of will, a test of might that would revolutionize the world forever. It would also be the reason why a lot of dumb people are in the hospital right now. I can't believe everybody doing this bullshit, man. So I'm getting landed on his face, homie. Anyway, anyway, let's get back to the story. <laughs> After a 10 year hiatus, the Crate Challenge emerged once again in the year 2021, in the month of August. Kenneth Waddell and Jordan Brown were the two warriors that brought back this noble challenge. The reemergence of the Crate Challenge rang like a battle cry across the entire world. Smoke signals were setting off, alarms were ringing, and people were gathering. Crates were being built, pyramids, pyramids, pyramids of torture. Many brave warriors answered the call. Many failed. Many, 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 many Lord, the spawn of niggas failed, Buddha. Later that same evening. But in the heat of this great conquest, many warriors proved themselves to be mightier than others. Amongst the legion of people who tried to beat the mighty great challenge, a few stood above the rest. And among these few, two elite stand out, and the world is left in, in awe. The first to leave the world gasping for air was a black lady, wearing high heels and still beat the great challenge. And the second warrior who left the world completely flabbergasted is known as the blunt bender, using a technique known to only the most elite of warriors, he made his way up the Tower of Crates while rolling something that the locals collectively call Cheese Excel. The sheer class and expertise of his performance is going to be passed down for many generations to come. This was the story of the Hood Olympics. 70 years later. So you're telling me these guys had Wi-Fi, hoverboards, drones, self-driving cars, robots, augmented reality, and they were dealing with the pandemic, and this is what they were doing? 